our, our bins, our 27 gallon bins. We fill them about that far from the top, makes them about 25 gallons, and get our solution mixed. Fill this with water for our initial. Fill this for your 25 gallons. It's 10 teaspoons of the master blend, 10 teaspoons of the calcium nitrate, and one uh, five teaspoons of the magnesium sulfate. So put this in for your initial fill. Do it right in each bin. It's a lot faster than trying to do it all and then transfer it doesn't make any sense. And that's it for that. Now, when the bins hit about this height, it's about halfway down, even lower than that if you want. There's two ways to fill this. You can use the main bin that you're using for mixing and just topping off with the bucket, or you can say, okay, we've got 12 gallons of juice, so you just do five teaspoons, five teaspoons, and about two and a half teaspoons. And that way you can just keep this top off. It's okay for them to get down to a quarter. Now, there's big questions about should we empty out this and change out our nutrients all the time? Two years, I haven't done that. It seems to be a waste of time, a waste of water. So, and it's been working great. What I do, every fourth time or so, I won't mix. I'll keep checking my total dissolved solids or parts per million. If you're in your range, whatever your base range was, this one was 650, that's good. If it gets to about 700, 800, that means you're getting some nutrients built up in your perlite. We'll then just mix a lighter or no nutrients in, let that one run through, check your total dissolved solids again, and when you get back down to the 500, 650, you're good to go. That way you don't ever get a buildup, and you don't have to keep changing out your waters. So keeping it simple, and you know, <laughs> that's our motto, keep it simple. Okay, a lot of times what I'll do when I refill these, I'll just use one of these empty bins, 27 gallon bin, do it to about the 25 gallon mark, mix my solutions, and I'll have solution enough to take just buckets and top off different areas. I also use this nutrient solution that I mix in the air to water all of the fabric pots. The fabric pots, in the trough, we just water from the top with the nutrient solution. Now every third time, I just use plain water. That way you don't get build up. You don't have to worry about it that way. So water from the top. Right now there's about an inch of water at the bottom of this trough. Just let it go dry. Because it'll keep cooking up. You don't have to keep watering. You don't have to keep water in it. If you keep water in it all the time, you will have some algae build up. So it's better to just let it go to dry. Um, a lot of times I'll water, and I'll just see a little bit of water on the bottom, that's great. So that's it for the fabric pot one. We're gonna show you how to refill all the different waters. Now, your water supply matters about your pH. Here in Southern Missouri, it's pretty high, as you'll see here. It's eight, sometimes nine coming out of the ground over here. So pretty high pH. We want to get it down to about six and a half. So we'll have to use pH down. So water, we'll go ahead and fill up the 27 gallon bin. We'll use some pH down. And I've already tested this. We have to use a third of a cup to get it down that far. This was pretty drastic. A lot of times you don't have to use any because it's about 7.0 a lot of places and by the time you put your nutrients and everything in it brings them down to six and a half. So there's our third of a cup. And then we'll put our nutrients in. So now mixing the nutrients, I'm going to fill this up about halfway and in 20 
five gallons. Again, we need 10 teaspoons of master blend and 10 teaspoons of calcium nitrate and five teaspoons of magnesium sulfate. And you can mix the master blend and the magnesium sulfate at the same time. But always mix the calcium nitrate separate. Because if you don't, they can lock each other out and you won't get a true mix. So 25 gallons. And I'll just rinse it out a little bit before I do the calcium nitrate. I'm using a tablespoon because I don't like to measure it 10 at a time. So, found that three of just barely heaping is exactly 10 teaspoons. So there we go. Same thing. Get it into solution. By the way, you can pick these little containers up at most restaurants or mayonnaise jars. They just throw them away. They're the perfect mixing tool. Sure, it's all mixed in good. And then we're ready for the next step. So as you can see, we've got it down to 6.45 or so. It's going down a little more as, as it uh, keeps dissolving and, and stabilizing. And we want it down to you know six two to six five, and so now we're perfect range. Okay, next we uh, just want to top off the bins. Now, uh, as you see, we're equal opportunity here. We got blue lows, we got green menards, so we will take the bucket. Just top off the bins. We're gonna get about halfway down. I like to pour a bucket or two in. But this way, if we do it this way, the percentages are always the same. You're doing the the right nutrient and pH levels, topping off your buckets and your bins, and that's all you need to do. We also use the same idea. You know, fill up the, the 27 gallon tote with the right solution and pH. And I'll take a watering can. And we will go ahead and water the top of our fabric buckets. And that'll wick down. And as you fill it, you'll see the water in the bottom of the trough. And it'll wick back up into it so you're not going to waste anything. So again, we use the same solution in here for our fabric buckets.